the Cleveland State University Convocation Center. It's Crunch Soccer on Sports Channel. Tonight, the Cleveland Crunch take on the Milwaukee Wave as the Crunch tries to snap a four-game losing streak. Hi, everybody. I'm Ed Vicinic along with Jeff Phelps. Well, if the hecticness of the holidays has drawn your attention away from the Cleveland Crunch, sit back. We've got a whole lot to catch up on. Uh, the four-game losing streak is big news, but even bigger news, a blockbuster deal pulled off by the Crunch. With the team they're playing tonight, the Milwaukee Wave, the Crunch gets one of the top defenders in the league. In fact, the guy who was rated the top defender last year, Matt Knowles, but in return, Milwaukee gets three very good players from the Crunch. Glenn Carbonera, Obi Maname, and Todd Dusoski. They have not worked out with Milwaukee, but they will play tonight against their former team. Well, indeed, the Crunch gave up a lot to get Matt Knowles, but you're going to see a lot of scoring from this guy. On the losing side of what's been happening, Jeff, a four-game losing streak. It's only the second time in the entire history of the franchise that the Crunch has lost four straight games, and they're giving up a lot of points. And they've gone from 9-2 and two to 9-6. Nine 9-2, and six. Nine and two, they're sitting on top of the league looking great. Right now, they're struggling a little bit. Now they have the lineup changes and the defensive positions are obviously very key and that's why Matt Knowles is here. Yeah, you saw in that graphic the one time the year they did lose the four games, they won the championship that year. As far as the Milwaukee Wave are concerned, you're probably going to see a team that likes to pack it in and play very conservative, but they got a couple of guys that help them do that. Well, in goal, Victor Nogueira, one of the best all-time in the NPSL. In fact, he was on the United States World Championship team along with Otto Warf and Michael King, a, a guy that a lot of folks here in Cleveland are very familiar with from his days with the Crunch. So it should be interesting. We got some familiar faces on both sides, a chance for some guys who are just traded to get back at the team that mm -hmm. just traded them. Should be interesting. Post Christmas, the Crunch <laughs> and the Wave getting set to go. We'll be back with the starting lineups after this. The Crunch Soccer is brought to you on Sports Channel by Fila Soccer. Come play with us, the official uniform supplier of the Cleveland Crunch by MTD for a growing soccer world. The Illuminating Company, bringing new power to you. By Bryant and Stratton College, the career college of choice in Northeast Ohio. By Arby's, it's better out there. BP, at BP, everything we do is to keep you moving. By the peak at Marymount, Go where the pro athletes go. And by your hometown proud IGA supermarket. Shayla, smile. With all the care you put into taking those pictures, bring your film somewhere that'll put as much care into developing them. Your Revco Drugstore. We offer premium film processing. You'll get your pictures back the next day or they're free. You'll get the sharpest, brightest photos and index prints. Organize all your photo memories. Daddy, Hi, everybody. I'm Les Levine sitting on the set of More Sports Channel and Les Levine. And you can be the first one on your block to purchase a How Come Quickie t-shirt, How Come Quickie sweatshirt, or the How Come Quickie More Sports Channel and Les Levine mug. Mugs are $12, t-shirts uh, $19, and sweatshirts $29, plus shipping and tax. And you can order them right now, 1-800-391-4976. 1-800-391-4976. Supplies are limited, so call right now. Normally, it's used to take a breather, to hear the coach's plans, or to wait for the jump ball. But after six fouls with the game on the line, a chair on the bench can feel like a prison, and there is no Cavs basketball on Sports Channel. We get you right down on the court. One week only. Now through December 31st. Inventories must be reduced at Courtesy Auto World in Ravenna. 97 Caravans and Voyagers. $219 a month with no money down. 97 Ram SLT Pickups. $219 a month with no money down. Or 96 Stratus. $199 a month with no money down. Hurry in and save big. Every new and used vehicle on sale now at Courtesy Auto World. Route 59 and 14 in Ravenna. Always drive with Courtesy. Chrysler Plan with Dodge. One day, you'll live in a world where the music perfectly fits the way you feel. 
with the pure sound of a great CD and no commercials ever. You can live in that world now. It's called your home. You can create that music. It's called Music Choice. The definitive music service. Over 30 different channels direct to your stereo. It's like you're hearing music for the very first time. Music Choice, the next great sound wave. Hundred. We're back at CSU waiting for the opening whistle. There it is. It's showtime here in Cleveland. The crunch against the Milwaukee Wave. The Wave coming in looking to snap a two-game losing streak of their own. While the crunch looking to get out of a four-game run. Here comes Glenn Carbonari. He sends it across the front of the goal. Boy, would that have been some revenge from Carbonara right from the get-go. The three members of the crunch who were traded are starting for Milwaukee tonight. Obi Moname, Todd Dasaski, and Glenn Carbonara all out there. And goal for the crunch out of war. If there you see him in the middle of your picture, Victor Nagara is the goalkeeper for the Milwaukee Wave. This is Carbonara. Glenn hasn't played in 10 days. To his right, shot it wide. The ball comes off long, and Nikki Viktovic will play long for Zoran Karic. He takes it down with the left foot across. Here's Matt Nose! And he's getting a great, great ovation from the crowd and even better ovation from his teammates. Everybody off the bench, out onto the field to welcome Matt to Cleveland. That's the way to win a crowd over. Take a look at Zorin's pass on this. Beautiful pass by Zorin. And Matt is wide open all by himself. And there's the goal right past Victor Nagara. Not only is that his first goal, that is an extraordinary goal. That's no easy stuff there as Doles took it out of the air on a full out run on the cross from Zoran Karic and a crunch lead two to nothing there's an over and back as David Moxham pressured by Hector Marinero the crunch will get a free kick at the yellow line last year Matt Knowles had 123 points on his way to being named defender of the year for the second time in his career Zoran Marinero curled it, left arm swatted it down from Victor Nagara, who was actually headed the wrong way on that particular attempt. Michael King will play long. Here's a counter, Orp with a big stop on Oliverio. And the crunch will play long. The distribution to Marinero with pop on his hips. Plays to an overlapping Gutierrez. Stepping in is Michael Richardson, and he'll come forward. Michael Richardson with the left foot after his own rebound. Ball got a piece of it. The ball is free, and Otto will scoop it up. We've got high pace from the opening whistle. This is Kia, one times ahead. Marinero had it poked away. Richardson after it. And Michael Richardson will come circling out of his own end to Michael King. He's tracked down by Andy Schmetzer, two good friends there. Schmetzer wins the battle and gets it back to Orr. Andy was listed as questionable for, for tonight. He was getting some treatment on his groin. His hamstring was really tight before the game, but he's out there giving it a shot. Andy Schmetzer, 27 points on the year. Team captain to Zoran Karic, who leads the league in scoring now with 87 points. After that assist on the nose goal, here is Vignovich, the right foot. He sends it wide. Ball on his way to goal. Got it across the face of the goal. Nobody at the back stick for the crunch. And Vignovich will bring it back to the midfield. Crunch's fourth loss in a row was against Kansas City last night, falling 17 to 13. This is Pat White, a second-year player out of the Field University of Wisconsin Parkside. Dasaski with a, a hospital ball for Steve Morris. Morris did well to stick a face in there. Now Todd and the crowd got it over to Ricky Mobley. Here comes Obi Maname, the right foot from three-point land. It went wide. And Viknovich will take it off the near boards with Maname all over him. Matt Knowles. Tried to sniff in there, came up empty, and the wave will come ahead. Michael King, Schweitzer stepped in and held him off nicely, found some space and got it across to Gutierrez. Now that's Tommy Tanner. Oh, they went to the same college. I'm on NC State low, isn't it? I'm, I'm absolved, at least in my own mind I am. Robin will take it back and get it. 
to Victor Nogueira. You know, nice thing for Obi Moname, his brother did play for Columbus. He was also traded to Milwaukee, but as of yet, o uh, Obi told me before the game, he's not even sure if his brother knows that he's been traded. He was in Las Vegas visiting his girlfriend for the holidays. Michael Richardson with a blast and the diving stop from Orr. You know, Jeff, there's email, there's fax machines, there's phones. There's a lot of ways to communicate. This, this, is, this is a modern world, and I think Las Vegas has all those things. Just, just a hint. That's a guess. Big kick save by Otto Orr, but I'll tell you what, Otto's not wasting any time getting the ball back in play after a save is made. Schweitzer, who has missed seven games due to injury, drills one in. Hector tried to get it across to Kia. That didn't make it. There's something we haven't mentioned, uh, Jeff, is once again the dynamic duo of Marinero and Karic have been split. They're not on the same line anymore. Just a, a, an opportunity for Bruce Miller to try and spread out the offense a little bit, which in, on one hand might be nice. On the other hand, it's great having the point together. Michael Richardson, a six-time All-Star in this league, spent most of his career with the Chicago Power. He uh, blew out a knee a couple of seasons ago, and took last year off, and he's back with the wave. And is their second leading scorer as we speak with 30 points. Knowles will drill one and all. Oh, caught Nagara by surprise. Boy, would have that have been a goal. He looked completely stunned on that one. Might have been screened with the action in front of goal. Jeff Pop. Pop has been well traveled this season. Most of his career with the Dayton Dynamo. Here's Michael King across. Oliverio had trouble with the first touch. Still got a shot off. And Orm able to kick it aside. David Moxham nodded it down for Steve Moore. Hey, what's with King and Oliverio in these white shoes up there? Everybody else is wearing the black shoes. Friends, man. Friends. Maybe they're looking for some kind of contract. And I, I think it's going to work. Andy Schmetzer can't get out of that ball. He's run off by Michael King. And here comes King, 49 points on the season. Lost it on the way to goal, and Otto will get it right back to Andy Schmetzer. We're just over five minutes into the first quarter. The crunch on an early goal from Matt Knowles lead it 2-0. Karras will rip one with the right foot. It came out long to the midfield. Poking in was John Ball, who will see considerably more playing time now as the season progresses. He's still a developmental player, but he's played 14 games already. Once he hits that 20-game mark, the crunch will need to sign him to a regular contract. And the way he's been playing and the number of games he's played, that's very likely to happen. Same thing had it happened to Todd Desoski last year. Started out on the developmental roster. And look what it got him. Exactly. Traded to Milwaukee. By the way, our, our referees today, Thomas Lauer and Julio Salas, the head coach of the Milwaukee Wave is Keith Tozer. The all-time winningest coach in league history. Big stop by Orff as Pat White got a volley off his way. Tommy Tanner leads a three-on-three back for the crunch. for a trailing ball. And to Vignovich. Vignovich had a hat-trick against Kansas City in the loss last night. To his left, across the face of the goal, kicked out by Ricky Mobley. That will leave the playing surface and give the crunch a free kick at the top of the deep. There's Bruce Miller. Man who's not panicking, not getting too excited about the fact that his team's lost four games in a row. But at the same time, you can tell Bruce is trying to make some things happen, and he likes the Matt Knowles trade an awful lot. He thinks it's going to make his team a lot more aggressive, especially on offense. Aaron Arrow's right foot is blocked by Steve Morris, who came out of the Milwaukee wall. A long distribution from the Guerra. Michael King racing. He's tracked down by Knowles. Tried to get it across the front. Maname in traffic, poked it back for a trailing Steve Morris. Morris will take it there. Got it in to King. He's wrapped up momentarily. Quick footwork from Tanner gets it out of harm's way, and here comes Tanner. Tommy Tanner, 15 points this season. Early to Knowles, he's in space. And the Nagara right at the volley, up and out by Tommy Tanner. Good opportunity for Tommy because Nagara was not in position at all to make any kind of a stop. And if, if Tanner got it down, we got a goal. Ball leagues play, that'll give us a chance to take a break. 7.31 to go in the first quarter. Crunch ahead, two to nothing. We keep it moving. We keep it moving. At BP, our high octane Super 93 is formulated with our highest level of engine cleaning power. Super 93 delivers everything you demand in a premium gasoline so you can concentrate 
on more important things. We keep it moving. Gotta get me out of here. This is not a nice place. Picking up bad habits, Mom. They're making me do bad things. Are you blind out of my face? They're even trying to change the way I look. They can't get any worse than this. I said you got the wrong number, chump. Oh, Granty. Meet George, your new personal trainer. Nice to meet you. Not nice. Not nice. That's right. Not nice. Keith Tozer, the all-time winningest coach in NPSL history, 317 victories. As a matter of fact, he's only uh, two wins away from hitting the century mark as the Milwaukee Wave coach. Last year's coach of the year in the NPSL. Jeff Pop moves it into the corner. In a crowd, Kane can't control. Morris follows up with a foot just over the crossbar. And Aguero will take it at his own yellow line. He's very good with his feet. Goalkeeper of the year last season, Victor Nagara. That's over and back. Kia could control the ball, and the Wave will have a free kick at the yellow line. Milwaukee in the toughest division in the NPSL without question. They're five and six, and in last place, fourth place. Morris drills one off the post. It came long to David Moxham. Morris hit every panel of that ball. Dumped in by Nagara, Orful Waitford off the boards, has to take it with his head. Now a battle there, and dangerous play will be called against Michael King. After tonight, the Crunch will play New Year's Eve in Cincinnati. Nothing like a New Year's Eve celebration in Cincinnati, is there? <laughs> That's what I've heard. It's a tough part of the schedule for the Crunch. Six games in ten days. And the same goes for the Milwaukee Wave. They're in the midst of playing eight out of ten on the road. Spencer went for the tackle, didn't come up with it. King trailing the play, got a bad ball from Moxham. Carbonara had to go high, now has to hustle to keep it out of his own third, did well. But the Wave in a scramble. Now something you're gonna have to know about Milwaukee is these guys haven't played together a lot with the new guys. Not at all. This is the first time they've been on the floor together. Morris follows up that save with a blast off of John Ball, and that will give the Wave a corner kick. In, in fact, Glenn Carbonara just joined Milwaukee tonight. He stayed in town. They showed up here at the arena. Glenn joined them and said, hi, I, I'm your new teammate, and I'm starting tonight. Obi Moname went to Milwaukee from Columbus, where he was for the holiday, and Todd Dusoski went from Minnesota, where he was back home to Milwaukee. The ball left for David or Michael Richardson, and he got a good whack to go, but wasn't able to get it over the line in traffic. Have a creative play there for Milwaukee on the restart. The slide tackle from Carbonara. Takes it off the foot of Jordan Carrington. This is Oliverio. Giuliano is his first name in his second season of indoor soccer to Steve Morris. Steve was born in Glasgow, grew up in Illinois, and played college soccer at Syracuse. He gets around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Into a posting Todd Dasoski against Andy Schmetzer. Andy stepped in and got away. Julio Salas blowing the whistle, the foul against Todd Dasoski. Kind of a rough trade for Todd. I think uh, everybody on the crunch end was surprised by the trade, whereas Matt Knowles is really looking to get out of Milwaukee, so he has to be traded. He's from Philadelphia, wanted to go home and play for the expansion team. That didn't happen, and I know that's really what he would have wanted, but uh, maybe the next best alternative is coming to Cleveland. We'll hear from Matt at halftime and tell us a little bit more about how the trade took place and what happened and his thoughts about being in Cleveland. A crunch general manager Al Miller said they had a, sh a short list of players, he always has it, of guys he'd love to pick up if they become available, and he said Matt Knowles was on that list. And as soon as he heard Matt was available, he made, he made every effort to get it done, and he did. By the way, if we get a good look at Matt, a, a dead ringer for Danny Yeah, he's in there. Here comes Knowles again. The right foot, he missed it wide. Mobley can't get a toe on it. 
Tanner in a crowd. Vigdovich with a quick foot. Long range right quarter. Nagara up to that task. Victor led the league in points against the last two years. He was 29 and 10 with a points against of 10.25 last season. Michael King behind the defense. He scores. Oh, Maddie Knowles got caught sleeping. And King had Orff at his mercy. Take a look at this thing on the replay and we'll see exactly what Ed was talking about because Matt Knowles was just not quite in position for this thing and, and Otto was caught a little off guard too because I think he expected Matt to be there. Catch what? Michael King buries it his 62 point goal of the season. Gives him 51 points, it comes at 10.43 and I believe Victor Nagara should get an assist off of that. Ties things at two. And here come the wave. Richardson in the corner to Saski. Otto stood tall. They try to get it to Richardson again. That got broken up. The give and go. This could be tough for Schweitzer to get back on. He can't get it off. De Saski on his way to go. Left it behind Maname. Here he comes against Marinero. The crunch back behind the ball. Knowles has lost his shoe, too. Richardson with a long ranger. It's up and over the glass. That's a goal kick for Cleveland. Matt Knowles will head to the bench to get his shoe back on. And we'll be back on the other side. We're tied at two in the first quarter, the crunch and the wave. It's a big, wide world, and America is quickly discovering there's room for more than one voice in music television. Open your eyes to Much Music, an alternative concept in music television. 24 hours a day, Much Music is all about music. Open your eyes to a more diverse and adventurous playlist coming to you from the out-of-control rooms of Much Music. Get in on the best-kept secret in music television, Much Music. Call your local cable operator and ask for Much Music today. Here it comes. The old tax booklet. Let's get busy. I'm ready. You got chewed up last year. Here's a new twist. He's going to file his taxes? I phone. What? No forms to mail? I hate this. We're finished. Wait a minute. Here we go. Jason, what is Telefile from the IRS. Watch for your booklet in the mail. It's free. It's fast. It works. Good point. There's always the crossword puzzle. Bruce Miller behind the crunch bench. Thought his guys played pretty well last night in Kansas City, but uh, obviously concerned over a slide that has seen them go three and six after starting the season six and oh. Giving up a lot of points. Their goal this season are actually since Bruce Miller 10 points a game has taken over the team, and that just hasn't happened. Gutierrez tried to beat Dia. He gets muscled off by Mobley, and it creates a three-on-two. Ricky Mobley up the gut right side. Maname, I had trouble with the ball a bit behind him. He still could have done better with the first touch. He didn't, and the foul called against Gutierrez. This trade is going to be very nice for, for Obi Maname. He's going to get a chance to really play and develop. He's in his first year. He wasn't going to get that chance with the crunch. Not this year, anyway. And uh, this will really help advance his career. Plus, he's going to love playing with his brother. Oh, yeah, that's no doubt. I think, uh, talking about brothers, that's another part of the hardship that uh, Todd might be going through. Todd DeSaski uh, being away from his brother, Troy. But the same goes for Todd as far as getting more of a chance to play. I mean, he was getting time with Cleaver, right. but not what he will see in Milwaukee. And don't forget about Bruce Miller's ties. Right. Dostoevsky. I mean, he's, he's coached him for five or six years. He was his coach in high school in Anoka, Minnesota, and both of the Dostoevsky brothers, obviously. And it's, uh, it's tough to trade a guy like that. In fact, Bruce saw them both today for the first time since the trade, so he hated to do it, guys, but something we thought we had to do. John Ball with nice work in traffic. Carbonara steps up and prevents that from getting to you. Z's feet. Two-time All-Star in the MISL, MSL. This was a very fast-paced game early, yeah. and now it's slowed down to more of a tempo that Milwaukee's going to play. Kind of surprised me that Milwaukee was playing at that run-and-gun pace, but they were somewhat forced into it due to the fact that Orff wasn't wasting any time getting the ball up the floor. Hector Marinero 
73 points on the season. Right now ranks number third on the league scoring list. Here comes Tanner through the defense. He got steered off toward the near corner and then ran into a double team. And Todd Jasoski came away with it. Here is Giuliano Oliverio. Tried to slip it past Matt Knowles. He carries on. Nice work in traffic and back to Steve Morris. Morris on the foot of Oliverio, right side against Knowles. A trailing box up, it got deflected, and Otto stayed with it. Tough save from Moore. Wignovich brings it back. It's the yellow line. No, he got it. And a big block from David Moxham. He's feeling that. Will go off for a break. Carriage against Jeff Pop to his right, back to his left, into space. The left footer off the boards. And Ricky Mobley right where he should be. By the way, we failed to mention so far that Zoran Carriage is now a member of the 1,000 point club. Only three guys in the league history are there. Here comes Michael Richardson. Orff knocked it aside. He follows it up in front of goal. Oh, Pat White, what was he thinking? He thought he had a trailer. And he did not have one. A quick deflection from him would have been a goal for the one man, less than one man remaining. But Zoran Carriage with uh, a five-point night last night is now in the 1,000-point crew with Hector Marinero and Franklin McIntosh. Kane split two, then ran into Knowles. Here he comes forward. Knowles walked around to Mark into the corner. Team. It got stopped by Nagara, and Knowles will track down the rebound. We're under a minute, 35 seconds to play first quarter. Tied at two. Matty Knowles with the crunch goal. He lost it out high, and Nagara will scoop it up. The key is getting a little more playing time recently. More than I know he expected to get when he came here. Prior to all of the changes, he had been basically a power play Zach player. Foul called against Gutierrez. Julio Salas moving Henry off the ball. They'll leave it for Nagara. Marinero got a piece of it. Richardson did well to stay on it. Kia came in with both feet. That is a foul. Just 11 seconds left here in the first quarter. Steve Morris will put it in play. King tried to handle that one at his hip. That should about do it. As you see the clock tick down, Schweitzer stepped in. He'll blast it long range. There's the horn. Each team with a tally. A two-point goal, and after 15 minutes, we're even at two apiece. The crunch and the wave here on Sports Channel. Believing I can make a difference wasn't the problem. I just didn't know how. I knew I couldn't do everything, but I could do one thing at a time. And I realized I wasn't the only one out there. I've learned so much from so many different people. It's been great getting involved. Team up with your community. Grab your seat on board this season's wild ride to radical snowboard action. The top talent from around the world will bring you down the mountain and across the globe to the finest conditions you can ever dream of. You'll be turned around and blown away by Steve Alaska, Radical New Zealand, and Fiji Barrows. And that's just a taste of where you'll ride, fly, and die with Board Wild. Does anyone here think there'll be a cure for AIDS? Definitely. How do you know? I don't know, but you have to believe. Some people don't believe AIDS is a problem that affects everyone. And that's the biggest danger. People should realize AIDS is a threat to everyone. I think it's just a matter of control. Some of us don't have the time. One week only. Now through December 31st. Inventories must be reduced at Courtesy Auto World in Ravenna. 97 Caravans and Voyagers, $2.19 a month with no money down. 97 Ram SLT Pickups, $2.19 a month with no money down. Or 96 Stratus, $1.99 a month with no money down. Hurry in and save big. Every new and used vehicle on sale now at Courtesy Auto World. Route 59 and 14 in Ravenna. Always drive with Courtesy. Ultimate New Year's Eve.
party on pay-per-view. Tuesday, December 31st. Six hours of non-stop action. Six hours of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. See the best matches and the toughest fighters from UFC 1 through 11. Plus, four matches never before seen. Make this New Year's Eve the Ultimate New Year's Eve. Don't miss the Ultimate Fighting Championship's Ultimate New Year's Eve party on pay-per-view. Pay-per-view brings in the new year with the best fighters and the toughest matches. Ed Vesidic and Jeff Phelps back at the CSU Convocation Center as the Crunch players lock their mini balls into the seats. And there's a message for Hector Marinero. Uh, and he's not paying attention. Well, Hector disappointing the fans. They'll have another oh. chance between the third and fourth corner. Some very disappointed faces there. Maybe Hector can't read. That, that might be <laughs> it. Don't tell him that. First quarter stats, it's 2-2 two to two our score. Milwaukee with 13 shots to 8 for the crunch, and that's kind of surprising, knowing Milwaukee's style of play. Otto did come up with some big saves there. First goal the crunch got from Matty Knowles. Spectacular. That was awesome. And uh, then Knowles actually figured in the second goal by allowing Michael King to slip on by. Which wasn't quite as awesome. No. <laughs> Hey! Double team on Tanner. You see a little bit of the strength of the 5'8", 150-pound Tom Tanner. Schweitzer being challenged by Jasoski. Slipped it in. Carriage post against the top Eric Glenn with a big block. They ran into goals. Tanner. Back for Carriage quickly. Matt Knowles posting in the box. That's a defender there. Crunch fans. Don't normally see a defender posting as a as a target. Well, this could be the most offensively geared defender in all of the NPSL. Last year he had 123 points with Milwaukee. Several years ago with the Illinois Thunder, he had 121 points. Actually, a teammate of Glenn Carbonera's in Illinois and, and Tim, Tim Tima. Tima as well. Drop back, get drop back, drop back, drop back, drop back. Carriage will put it in play. Here is Knowles, the right footer. He hit it all, but Morris came charging out for the block. It's on the foot. Of Orp, Otto lost it. it. Mobley almost knocked it into his own goal in a challenge with Tanner. Crunch at nine and six, still three and a half games better than their next competitor. Bigdovich with a quick move around of Maname. And Nagara made the stop. Here comes Morris on the counter. He laid it into space. Maname and Orp. Orp got it off the line. And it'll be a goal kick for Cleveland. That's an aggressive play on Otto's part. Rather than let the play come to him, he went out to make it happen, and luckily he got his leg in there in time to get the ball away. Matt Knowles. Schweitzer. Marinero in a corner. David Moxham on in the turnaround. He didn't get it all as Moxham got a piece of Marinero as he made the turn. Back to Orr. Scott Schweitzer back in there for the crunch. This is just his sixth game. He's been bothered with a sprained toe. This is it. Knowles again. Matt Knowles in a home debut with both crunch goals. You know, there are certain ways to win a crowd over, and I think Matt Knowles kind of figured it out. What do you think, Ed? I think you're absolutely correct. Hector gets him the ball out top, and there it goes. Just straight ahead right through Victor Nagara. The goal comes at the 1-42 mark, his second goal of the game. Giving him 10 goals for the season, and he now has 20 points on the year. So he got an assist from each one of the dynamic duo this evening. That's a nice way to break in. Knowles just side-footing it. There he is, Danny Ainge, head coach of the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> Doubling as a soccer player. It's amazing he run. finds time to do this. Well, you know, when you're good, you're good. Back to action. It's a free kick deep in the crunch, and Michael King will take it against the two-man wall. He didn't get it past those two giants. <laughs> Gutierrez and Kia. Mario was stopped. King follows it up. He's off the crossbar. Well, Michael King felt that Matt Knowles has a pair. I'm going to try and do the same. The blast from Richardson missed. 
They get it to Otto's arms. Or eight and four this season with a points against of 13.16. His eight wins as of number five in the league. His points against number 10. This is Oliverio. The left foot missed wide. King after it. He tried to curl it back home. And as his momentum was taking him away, he knocked it into the seats. Michael King started his indoor career 10 years ago in this city. Member of the Cleveland Force. And was a, a standout player for the Force and later the Crunch. Made stops in Dallas with the sidekicks. Baltimore with the Spirit before winding up in Milwaukee. And since his arrival in Milwaukee, the Wave has not missed the playoffs in three years. He has been their leading scorer every single year. Gutierrez got him in a bad spot there and then threw the ball at him. Just kind of get rid of it. I think that was Todd DeSaski. If I'm not mistaken. Ow. Oh. That's going to take some time. Larry Sales takes a look at Todd Dasaski. Sales has been the trainer for the Milwaukee Wave since their inception 13 years ago. As a matter of fact, Sales did some training or was a trainer for the Harlem Globetrotters for a short stint. Before the game, he walked past Matt Knowles four or five times. Each time he walked past him, he threw a shoulder into him <laughs> and pushed him against the wall. Milwaukee Wave, a charter member of this league back when it was the AISA, the American Indoor Soccer Association. Been around for 13 seasons. And won uh, the most games in their franchise history last year when they went 30 and 10. Matter of fact, they beat the Crunch to get their 30th win last year. Well, there was a little makeup right there. Yep. Henry has a darting look in his eyes. This could get interesting tonight. Four to two, the Crunch ahead. Matt Knowles with both two-point tallies. Kia had trouble with that ball. King tried to whack it around Schmetzer or Schweitzer. Now a double team on Scott. Michael King came squirting away with it. Lost the ball, however, and Matt Knowles with space to move forward. Knowles into a posting Marinero. Makes the run, but stopped the run. Knowles, oh, he mishit it. He was winding up from three steps in. The ball squirted off. Victor Nguero was voted the number one indoor goalkeeper in the world back in 1992 when he led the U.S. indoor team to a silver medal in Hong Kong. Jeff Pop, Mona May on his way to goal. He got pushed off and the foul will be called. I don't know if Obi saw Michael King, but King was all alone at the far post and was unable to slide him the ball. Morris and Richardson. To restart. Looks like Morris will take it. Steve curled it toward goal. Richardson missed the rebound that got tapped in by Moname. Obi Moname, all the newcomers making impacts. And we're tied at four. It's not the most forceful kick Obi's ever made, no. but, <laughs> but it worked. Otto makes one great save, a nice pass from Richardson, and I think he was trying to do more with it than that. Same thing with Obi. I but it turns into a goal. Michael right now is telling Obi, I meant to do that. that there they are. Great pass. Did you like that? <laughs> exactly. You'll get a lot of those here in Milwaukee. I took just a little off of it for you. <laughs> Monome with the goal is eighth of the season. And we're tied at four apiece. Well, like the old saying goes, they don't ask how, they ask how many. And tomorrow in the paper, in the box score, that'll look like a, a cracker. <laughs> Madame took down Henry Gutierrez in the corner, or Zed Tanner nice again. Yeah. It, it, if it's a guy who's hurt, it must be Tommy <laughs> Tanner. It's... Tom trying to figure out where exactly he is. And Carriage will restart in the corner. A couple of fakes to chip. Vignovich got it on the volley, and Carbonara came away. Ran into Marinero. 
Carrich in the corner against Richardson. Spins back and looks to goal. Tried to chip in for Marinero. That got deflected on the way. Carbonero off to David Moxham, I believe. No, that's Rienzi, Jason Rienzi. Now Richardson with space to come forward. Tries a left footer, got blocked by Vignovich. Now a battle for it. Tanner comes away. Carrich is behind the defense. Now marked by Carbonero. Here comes Tanner, played it off the boards. Nagara read it, but the foul called against Ricky Mobley. The Crunch will have a free kick. Knowles tried to restart it quickly, but he took a little license with the spot. You know, you, you do what you can. Without a doubt. <laughs> Carriage to Big Navant. He's got Nikki Vignovich with a two-pointer. The Crunch ahead, six to four. Well, they've worked this several times this season. We're going to see it an awful lot more. The man that Zoran Karic recruited from Belgrade gets the pass and then gets the goal right past Victor Nagara. Took it upper left, which was just about the only place that Nikki could have scored on that, and that's exactly what worked. 4.47 the time of Nikola's 21st two-point goal of the season. After this goal, Victor Nogueira went out to talk to Jason Rienzi, who was in the wall, and said, hey, when that ball gets played, you've got to go in close space. You've got to get out and charge the ball. And Rienzi, only a rookie, with some words of wisdom from his veteran goalkeeper. John Ball with a nice move to step in front of Oliverio and then played it long. Mike Benito on for his first shift, tries to track it down. Nogueira is there first. Marinero had trouble with a bouncing ball. Morris into space. Oliverio run off the ball by Gutierrez. And here comes Henry back left to right. Into space. Benito on his way to goal. Stops it at the yellow line. Gains some time and space across for Tima. Tim on his way. Into a posting. Marinero made the off the ball run. Got it back but had no path to goal. Gutierrez. Marinero in the corner, he got a shot off as he, as he spun Morris. Crunch turning the screws just a bit. Tima, Benito. Mike getting a shift or two. It's an interesting in team out there for the yes, Crunch it is. right now. We get a chance on to talk about that free kick goal from Vickovich as Morris came up with a tackle. Tima. Cuts it back upfield nicely. Checking to the ball with Zanino, but he just read the carom off the boards. Jeff Pop will play it upfield. Team up first to the ball. Got it for Gutierrez. Gutierrez may be in trouble there, but King doesn't apply the screws. Maxim didn't get it off. Milwaukee came away with it. Morris can't win that battle Good with ball. ball by John Ball. John Ball the right foot from three-point land. Nagara's going to have to scramble to get this one under control. Got it across his own goal. And Victor holding his hands to his head. To Saski. Marked by John Ball. Good to see Todd still with us. Yes, indeed. Pat White plays the board. The trailing run by Richardson wasn't in line with the carom. Tanner comes away, chips it, Vignovich, a bouncing ball, will wait for it off the glass, then splits two. Cabanera got a piece of it, Nagara goes high, punches it out. Michael Richardson to Obi Maname. Obi with a nice cut move to get around Schweitzer, and Schweitzer fouled him. We'll play it back to Nagara. Victor, a two time MSL MVP. One is a co-MVP award last year with Hector Marinero. Maname thought Richardson was making the run. He wasn't. He follows it up with a steal. Schweitzer came up with a big play. The Wade looking to get it under control. Maname, it's stopped by Orr. Trouble for Cleveland. You know, it's been interesting to watch tonight. Obviously, the new guys going to Milwaukee from the Crunch haven't played with their new teammates, but they know how to attack this Crunch team. They know how to defend the Crunch team. And they've had success with it tonight. Carbonara has done a nice job on defense, and Maname has been terrific. He's had a goal tonight. He's been very aggressive. Gutierrez turns and heads to goal. Maname with the tackle, followed by Carrots, who shot blocked by 
couple of bodies laying in front of that, and I think one of them was or belonged to Henry Gutierrez. Vignovich, nice touch the first time. He curled it back in front. It got blocked by Mobley. And Mobley will play it up the board. Ricky Mobley out of Jacksonville, North Carolina. A little hip ball never made it to Gutierrez in the wave. Unfortunate as Carbonara picked it off. Vesaski in traffic. Carbonara got it to Richardson. Michael, a left-footed player. Played his face for Michael King. A bouncing ball shot it toward goal. Slapped down by Orr. And some nice, crisp passing. Gets the crunch out of their own third. Hector had to scramble to keep possession. Then played for a racing at Carriage. Over and back called against Milwaukee. It'll give the crunch a free kick at the yellow line. And a good job by Rob Marinero. Over on the door over there by the bench. Ball was coming right at it. He had to close it before the ball ended up off the field. Matt Knowles will back up and blast. Got blocked by Michael Richardson. Knowles back on it. Just over six minutes to go second quarter. The Crunch with a 6-4 lead. Scott Schweitzer stepped in and was called for the foul. And Julio Salas says, boys, you're about 10 feet further up know, the floor than you should be. Top of veteran, 33 years old, went to Wright State University. Actually, the Dink Dynamo was playing in the Nutter Center on the campus of Wright State for a while. He got to play at home. Tony Tammy Tanner looks like a hamstring might be bothering him, and that's something that Coach can afford to lose Tom Tanner. In fact, Tommy's coming off right now. Yep. Uh, Tom's been banged up in his career. Last year, injuries to his hamstring, his ankle, his foot, his groin. He did his ACL in college. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons Al Miller drafted Tom Tanner was the guy blew out his knee, then came back and had two great seasons after. And just the determination and guts of Tom Tanner along with his skill. That always helps. Caught the eye of Al Miller. Get up! The Tommy has been injury prone. He's an 80-point man when he's healthy, but doesn't get through a lot of seasons without coming up. Well, that, that's been the big trouble for the Crunch this year, the injury trouble, especially with the defensive players. Scott Schweitzer has missed 10 games. Nicky Ristick has missed 13 games. He'll be back in a week or two. In fact, he was out warming up before the game. He's looking better. Bonfinito taps it in from Marinero. As the Crunch look good through the midfield, and Mike Bonito with a sitter has opened up a four-point lead for the Crunch. Good the ball movement. From Hector, right to Mike Bonito. And the Crunch with an 8-4 lead. Goal at 9.44. Crunch lead at 8 to 4, and we'll be back. Follow the Crunch. Your independently owned and operated IGA supermarkets are proud to be the official food store of the world champion Cleveland Crunch. IGA Supermarkets, a part of hometowns like yours for 70 years, providing more quality selection and savings. Shop your hometown proud IGA. Save on your favorite brands every day. And follow the crunch. At IGA, we're hometown proud. Admittedly, there are some machines that are more powerful than MTD snow throwers. They're just not quite as practical. Nothing clears snow faster or for less money than MTD snow throwers. American made, American owned. Without one... Honey, you okay? It could be a long winter. There's a good look at the second year player out of Boston, Mike Benito, with his very first goal of the year. 9.44 from Hector Marinero, who now has two assists in the game, as does Zoran Carriage. Benito, a proven scorer on every level that he's played at. Well, 
led his college team in scoring. Went to the University of New Hampshire. Last season for the Crunch, he had five goals and three assists for 13 points. And a rookie season where he didn't see a lot of playing time. Victor Nagara had some words for Ricky Bowley there. What the heck you giving me the ball in that position for? <laughs> Victor did very well to chip it up over the head of that defender. Here comes Todd Dasowski pulling his way to goal, and Kia with defensive help stripped him. The long distribution, it finds Marinero. Where there's his patented move. Mobley went in for the block. He leads a bad pass. The crunch get it back and almost a chance to goal. Carriage slipped it in and missed Marinero on the deflection. I was about to say, Ricky Mobley leads Milwaukee Wave and blocks with 29. And that's in the top four of shot blockers in the league after, after finishing last year number two in the league in blocks. Carbonara for King, sliding along the near boards. Double team, the trailing Carbonara, big stop by Orr. Oh, Glenn was sniffing around for a two-pointer. That one will leave play and give us a timeout on the floor, so We'll check out again. Otto Orff looking for his ninth victory of the season. The crunch ahead, eight to four. The home team is committed. Committed to getting into the playoffs. Committed to getting families into homes. Along with neighborhood revitalization efforts, the home team is breaking down the barriers to home ownership, sponsoring home buying fairs and providing free information. The Cavaliers and the Fannie Mae Foundation, Cleveland's home team. That was then. This is now the Mac Now. The Mac Now is a weekly show that highlights the teams, players, and coaches in the Mid American Conference, both on and off the field. From Eastern to Western, Miami to Kent, the MAC Now provides your weekly fix of Mid-American Conference action. The MAC Now is available on most of these stations, so come on, get with the program. Check out the MAC Now. At Masinic and Jeff Phelps back at CSU. Our last broadcast of 1996. Time we'll talk to you in the new year, 1997. I figured that out all by myself. You're the best. <laughs> On Sunday, one week from tomorrow, we'll have the game against Baltimore. Ball movement by the wave. Not too swell on that particular instance. Michael Richardson will bring it forward. The deflection pass picked off by Knowles. Here he comes. Oh, good hesitation. Move! Shot it wide. He created an opening for himself, and that's what Matt Knowles can do. Carrot with the left foot slapped down by Nagara. Victor and Zorn, teammates in San Diego many moons ago. Michael Richardson with space. Here he comes. Left footer! It was dipping the rebound. King knocked it in the seats. Orff had to stay with that first one as it was hit well by Michael Richardson. We just saw Matt Knowles do something that Bruce Miller was talking to us about before the game. Most defenders, when they get the ball, will bring it up the floor a little bit, then pass off, or pass off right away, but Matt will take the ball all the way to the net by himself. He's aggressive in that way and, and has the skills to pull that off, too. Most defenders don't. And, and the other thing that, that plays into that is the fact that people around the league know Matt Knowles can go to goal and and so there's that hesitancy from a defender to go in and try to make a tackle right and that's just another advantage for Matt Knowles great in his home debut tonight oh, two goals no, early out. that's always nice he's gonna be over and back unless Otto gets there he does but knocked it out of play so they're gonna bring it back and not too far from where it would have been. Hey, but he picked up a good rug burn and a little limp out of the deal, so. I, I've seen Otto smiling a lot more than I have in yeah. quite some time. Not only does he have Matt Knowles back there with him, he also has Scott Schweitzer healthy enough to play again. And Nicky Ristick is on his way. Enough to make any goalkeeper smile. Richardson tried to slide it too through. Maybe the better option was Todd Dasowski. Schweitzer 
misread Mike Benito's run, and Ricky Mobley got it back to Victor Naguera from Mozambique, South Africa. I just love saying Mozambique. And you do it well. Thank you. 37-year-old. Actually spent some time here in Cleveland with the force. Carbonara on the right side, the left footer. Missed it way to the near side. Sasaki takes it down with Benito on him. Carbonara again, slid it in for Rienzi. He tried the return pass, they never got there. The back heel pass, Rienzi will circle back to the midfield. Mobley, Oliverio, the right footer. Oh, he got way under that. And it's in the seat. Good snag by that guy, too. Did you see that? Most definitely. Guy's on his game. He can catch and he's courteous, <laughs> allowing the young kids to go right through. You know, with, with combinations and features like that, sure. you're, you're going to go places in life. Garrett Schweitzer will be in trouble when this one comes off. Moxham took it away three on two. Moxham right footer got deflected by Team on away to goal. Oliverio in the corner. And Tima came away with it. Minute 20 to go in the first half. Out of war for the Cleveland Crunch want a timeout. Otto will walk back. Otto was the defensive player of the month back in November when he went 5-0 and in a points against him, 10.20. Oh, does that seem so long ago? It seems <laughs> terribly long ago right now. Crunch in the middle of a four-game losing streak, and, and that hasn't happened but twice before in team history. They lost at Cincinnati on the 7th, then at Columbus on the 11th. Those obviously are the two games that just came out of nowhere. They weren't expecting to lose those games. Then they had to play at St. Louis, and St. Louis is just having a terrific year. They're in first place right now, 11-1. And, and then they lost last night at Kansas City. The attack is 11-3. But it's a, it's a very tough stretch of games right now. After tonight, they have to play Tuesday in Cincinnati. And then on Thursday, they're in Edmonton. Then Saturday, in Philadelphia. Well, some of the numbers here in their four-game losing streak, the Crunch as a team averages 17.4 points a game. During the lo losing streak, they've only averaged 15.3. The Crunch as a team gives up 14 a game. Which they is high up, enough to begin with. Right. And they gave up five more points during that stretch. And then you, you saw that second half scoring where the Crunch is only scoring six and a half points in the second half of those four games. Which is very strange because the Crunch is, is a great second half scoring team. That's when they usually put teams away and really pour it on. Well, this shakeup with Matt Knowles has obviously had an effect tonight. And from all accounts, he played very well last night. And despite a loss, the Crunch looked good in a losing effort. And we've seen him look really bad uh, in Cincinnati and Columbus. He did not look good in Cincinnati, the game we called our last game. Tia Gutierrez. Oh, King got a foot in. Nice ball movement from the Crunch. And Michael King backtracking from his forward spot, able to help out. This is King in the midfield. Found himself some space, then Marinero nicked it away. Crunch have numbers, four on two if they hurry. Kia took some time and it allowed Moxon to get back. Gutierrez carries on, Naguera is on him, and Pop is gonna dump it downfield. Uh, Kia just wasn't quick enough, making a decision out high to keep the numbers up situation in effect. As we're down to less than 10 seconds. We'll get it back to Orff, and that should do it for the first half. Cleveland with the last four points in a closely contested first 30 minutes have a four-point lead at 8-4. to four. We're going to hear from the uh, newest acquisition of the Cleveland Crunch, Matt Knowles, after a break. This is Crunch Soccer on Sports Channel. We've always put power in your outlets. Now the Illuminating Company is going to put more power in your hands. The power to solve problems. The power to save. When our merger is approved, we plan to cut residential base rates by over 20%. And we'll begin by cutting your bill $3 a month shortly after approval. Stay tuned. The future is a powerful place. <laughs> You don't have to.
have to be a pro athlete to need sports medicine and rehab. Sure, a lot of the people you see in the peak at Marymount make their living on the playing field, but a lot of them don't. They're firemen and architects and moms too, and they all have the same thing in common. They need to get back on the job. For professional sports medicine and rehab, call the peak at 663-0080 and get back into action. Sports Medicine Center of the Cleveland Crunch and Lumberjacks. In the new business world, Change is not to be feared, it's to be expected. Forget about job security. Now you have to deal with downsizing, evolving technology. How do you get ready? Critical workplace skills to keep you employable for life. The real work experience employers expect before you graduate. Advanced technology and dynamic instructors to empower you. Where do you get it? Bryant and Stratton. Right here, this is no big deal. Neither is this. This is what we call a big deal. Arby's five buck value roundup. Like the tangy goodness of beef and cheddar. Get three for five bucks. Prefer the slow roasted flavor of regular roast beef? Get four for five bucks. Rather enjoy the authentic taste of the barbecue? Get five for five bucks. Your choice during Arby's five buck value roundup. So hurry in for a deal you can't beat. You'll taste why it's better out here. Arby's five buck value roundup. But here we go. The Cubs have won the game. The Cubs have won the game. The Cubs are the NBA Cup champions. The Cubs are Welcome back to the CSU Convocation Center. It is halftime here where the Crunch and the Wave are having at us and spending halftime with us today is the newest member of the Cleveland Crunch, Matt Knowles, just acquired from the Milwaukee Wave. And uh, Matt, I guess my first question, well, first, welcome to Cleveland. And I, my other question is, uh, give me your take on how all this transpired and how you wound up in Cleveland. Well, uh, I actually went to uh, the Milwaukee Wave uh, president, Mike Bazelon, and I, I asked to be traded, you know, uh, only for the reason is, uh, you know, it wasn't bad terms. We didn't leave on bad terms. I think we left on solid, solid ground. But, uh, you know, I just didn't feel like that they were committed to winning. You know, uh, as far as every year, you know, getting rid of six or seven or eight guys, you know, that just doesn't do it. And, uh, you know, I'm only 26, but I don't have that many years left. I don't feel, you know, so I want to win a championship, and I feel this is the best spot for me. Now, how hard was that for you? I mean, you had some pretty good seasons there in Milwaukee, and I'm sure you've uh, made a lot of friendships. Uh, how hard was it to you to go to Milwaukee and say, you know, I want out? I mean, it, it was hard, you know, to leave the guys, you know, because I made friends with a lot of guys who I played with for the last five years there. But, uh, you know, it was a business decision, you know. Uh, you know, I'm in this game to win, you know, and obviously uh, everybody wants to win a championship. And uh, I felt that that was the best thing for me to do was to get out of there. Now, you've only played one game with the Crunch so far, but uh, I'm interested to know uh, what your perceptions of this team was playing against them, and now you're with them. Uh, give me an idea about that. Well, you know, I always thought Cleveland was the best team in the league, you know, with Hector and Zorn, you know. Uh, each night, you know, one could be off, but the other one could be on, and, and at any time, one of them can beat you single-handedly. But the other guys, you know, Henry Gutierrez and Scott Schweitzer and Tommy Tanner and Andy Smetzer, I mean, you can go up and down the list. And, uh, you know, just to come here and play with guys like that, I hope I can just fit in and, and just be another role player here on this team. And, to lead them to a championship. Well, I think you're being kind of modest there, being a, a role player. You're obviously one of the premier defenders in the league. Uh, uh, as far as your play in the early going, how do you go about trying to fit in and then work your way into being a major role on this team? I think, you know, games is going gonna, is gonna to be the best thing for us, you know, and I came at the right time because we have, I think, six games in the next 12 days or 11 days or something. So I think after those six games, I think we're really going to blend together. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, during those six games, we, we can come out with uh, six wins and, you know, uh, be in first place throughout the season and get home field advantage throughout the playoffs and win the championship. Well, Matt, it's good to see you in Cleveland, and good luck with the crunch. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Matt Knowles. We'll be back with the second half of the crunch and the Milwaukee Wave right after a break. Stay with us here on Sports Channel.
Sometimes when you hear him crying, you can't see him. Other times when you can see him, you can't pick him up. When you can pick him up, your legs might not work to get you there. Multiple sclerosis randomly attacks the nervous system, so you never know what life will be like from one day to the next. After 50 years of health, we're closer than ever to a cure. Help us find it. One week only. Now through December 31st. Inventories must be reduced at Courtesy Auto World in Ravenna. 97 Caravans and Voyagers, $2.19 a month with no money down. 97 Ram SLT Pickups, $2.19 a month with no money down. Or 96 Stratus, $1.99 a month with no money down. Hurry in and save big. Every new and used vehicle on sale now at Courtesy Auto World. Route 59 and 14 in Ravenna. Always drive with Courtesy. Chrysler Plan wind roars. Count. The earth trembles. Everybody underground now! Your heart pounds faster. You never see what that thing is so It's killing! A gust of excitement is headed your way on pay-per-view. It's starting to turn. Get out of there! Hurry! Come on! Let's go get it. Get the smash hit Twister at home on pay-per-view. Check it out! Check out how easy it is to order Twister on pay-per-view. Welcome back to the MTD for a growing soccer world report. With us today is Jackie Simsek Becker, who is the president of the North Olmsted Soccer Organization. Jackie, why don't you tell us a little bit about your club? Sure. The club began in 1974 with just 200 boys, and then in 1976 the girls began playing. Today we have about 485 kids in our in-house program and about 275 that play on 17 of our travel teams in the city of North Olmsted. That's great. You got some of your players here with you. Why don't you introduce them to us? I do. I brought with me Jason, Mike, Melissa, and Ann today from our NOSO club. And uh, how are they doing so far? They're doing well. They all play on our travel teams in our city, and all of our travel teams really are doing great this season. Now, when you talk about travel teams, what kind of travel are you talking about? Is it basically in the area you guys go all over the place? Right. They play in the AASL and the NOGSL travel brackets, um, and they travel around the local area and also play in tournaments during the summer. Now, I understand you guys have a disabilities program, too, going here? We do. We started the very first program for children with disabilities. There's three divisions, children with orthopedic handicaps, mentally challenged, and a wheelchair division, and we take kids from all communities in the program. Tell us how that's going. That sounds very interesting. It is neat. We have 50 kids from 20 different communities, and we take you know all different kids in, and it's been a great experience, and our volunteers have a great time, too. I would imagine that the, the amount of accomplishment that those kids feel, it, and you can see it in their faces, must just bring you so much joy. You're right. They really, they have a great time, and it's the first program ever like that for anyone in this area. Now, uh, if somebody is interested in joining up with the North Olmsted Soccer so Organization, how would they go about doing that? They can contact NOSO through the City of North Olmsted. Um, just contact our City Hall, and they'll give you the number to get in touch with us. Jackie, it was a pleasure meeting you, and good luck to you. Thank you. That's it for our MTD for a growing Soccer World Report today. Stay tuned. We've got more crunch action coming your way following a break right here on Sports Channel. Kid, you got the talent. But you got a problem. You're too nice. I'm going to make you bad. OK, Mr. Lambert. Follow the crunch. Your independently owned and operated IGA supermarkets are proud to be the official food store of the world champion Cleveland Crunch. IGA supermarkets, a part of hometowns like yours for 70 years, providing more quality selection and savings. Shop your hometown proud IGA. Save on your favorite brands every day. And follow the crunch. At IGA, we're hometown proud. Admittedly, there are some machines that are more powerful than MTD snow throwers. They're just not quite as practical. Nothing clears snow faster or for less money than MTD snow throwers. American made, American owned. Without one... Honey, you okay? It could be a long winter. In the new business world, 
Change is not to be feared. It's to be expected. Forget about job security. Now you have to deal with downsizing, evolving technology. How do you get ready? Critical workplace skills to keep you employable for life. The real work experience employers expect before you graduate. Advanced technology and dynamic instructors to empower you. Where do you get it? Bryant and Stratton. But here we go. The Cubs have won the game. The Cubs have won the game. The Cubs are the NBA Cup champions. The Cubs are the Still waiting for both teams to get back to the floor for the second half here at the Cleveland State University Convocation Center where the Crunch hold an 8-4 lead over the Milwaukee Wave. Both teams trying to snap losing streaks and Jeff, 8-4, not a whole lot of scoring, but I don't think that really reflects the pace of the game, especially in the early going. It was very, very fast at the, at the beginning of this game and Matt Knowles immediately made himself a fan favorite here in Cleveland. Just acquired from Milwaukee, trade went down on Christmas Eve and re really was announced the day after Christmas. And Matt came through in a hurry with a goal right off the bat. And then, in fact, he had two in the first half. Well, getting away from the game momentarily, we've got some special announcements going down on the soccer field as the Crunch uh, naming their mascot. Al Miller, the and general manager, time, I'd like to will take it from the here. person who gave our uh, creature an identity. <laughs> Her name is Carol Johnson from South Euclid. Carol. What did you name our well, creature? Well, Al is still, Al Miller's still dinosaur. wrapping it up, but the uh, nickname is Kickster. Kickster is the name, and Dinosaur is the animal creature. And it's not oh. getting too great of a... Oh. I don't know. I'm a response here from the Crunch fans. We've got a mutiny on our hands. I think fans should just be appreciative of what Dinosaur did for the LPGA Tour. <laughs> yes. Without it, it, it would have been in big trouble. She looks quite different. All right, let's go to the highlights. Back to soccer. We had some great goals, and the first one was brilliant off the foot of Matt Knowles. Zoran Karic with a great pass, and there is Matt Knowles right out of the year, right past Victor Nagara. Welcome to Cleveland, and take that Milwaukee wave. And like I said, that was no tap in. Great skill from the defender of the year of last season. Then we have Michael King getting behind Matt Knowles. Kind of makes up for it right there, and he beats Otto Warf. That tied the game at two. Then in the second quarter, it was Matt Knowles coming through again, Ed. Matt Knowles scoring his second goal to give the Crunch a 4-2 lead. And here comes Obi Maname, traded by the Crunch to Milwaukee. Kind of excused me all the way around on that, on the assist, on the goal, everything, but it was worth two points and it tied the game at four. And from there, the Crunch went on to break the tie and then open up the lead that they have at this point. Zoran Karic over to Nikola Vignovic. And Nicky takes it upper left on Victor Nagara, about the only spot open in the net, and he laced it right through there. That made it 6-4 to four crunch. They have so many options now with the addition of Matt Knowles on the free kicks. And here comes Hector Marinero to Mike Benito. Mike getting his first goal of the year and giving the crunch an 8-4 to four lead, and that's exactly where we are right now at halftime. Benito just sneaking in behind the defense, and uh, I don't know what the Milwaukee defense was thinking there, but he was all alone. And that's how we sit at halftime. It's eight to four. The second half is on the way. We've always put power in your outlets. Now the illuminating company is going to put more power in your hands. The power to solve problems. The power to save. When our merger is approved, we plan to cut residential base rates by over 20%. And we'll begin by cutting your bill $3 a month shortly after approval. Stay tuned. The future is a powerful place. Out right here, this is no big deal. Neither is this. This is what we call a big deal. Arby's five-buck value roundup. Like the tangy goodness of beef and cheddar. 
Get three for five bucks. Prefer the slow roasted flavor of regular roast beef? Get four for five bucks. Rather enjoy the authentic taste of the barbecue? Get five for five bucks. Your choice during Arby's five buck value roundup. So hurry in for a deal you can't beat. You'll taste why it's better out here. Arby's five buck value roundup. Admittedly, there are some machines that are more powerful than MTD snow throwers. They're just not quite as practical. Nothing clears snow faster or for less money than MTD snow throwers. American made, American owned. Without one... Honey, you okay? It could be a long winter. But here we go. Back at CSU, there's the whistle. Showtime for the second half. The crunch and the wave. Cleveland looking to get out of a four-game funk. Wave have lost their last two. Great ball, springs Gutierrez from Marinero. He comes to go, Henry scores! <laughs> 14 seconds in, and it's a six-point lead. Well, the third quarter has been a very tough quarter for the Crunch during this losing streak. Just 10 points in the third, and this is a great way to open it up. Hector Marinero, great pass to Henry, and on his own, he gets a pass, Victor Nagara. A masterful pass from Hector Marinero. The one touch, 14 seconds in, and Henry buried it. Past Victor Nagara for Gutierrez. His 12th two-pointer of the season gives him 42 points now. Henry is number four on the crunch scoring list and 17th in the NPSL right now. That's always a helpful sign. The Crunch scored in the first minute of the first quarter, first minute of the third quarter. Well, last night in Kansas City, they had a 10 to 9 lead at halftime and then were outscored 7 to 1 in the third quarter, and that really did them in. They have had tough times in the third quarter. Outshot 13 to 5 in the third quarter of last night's loss as well. Once again, Victor Naguera is having some trouble with the positioning of his defensive walls on these free kicks and it might not only be the positioning but what the defenders do after the ball is put in play exactly and remember the man he's used to working with most is wearing number 34 for the crunch tonight some frustration uh, on the part of victor schweitzer couldn't get it out of trouble here's pat white he hit the post the Saski had the ball skip on by too quickly and matt knows will lead the crunch out of their own end. In the space, Benito had to put on the brakes. White got to it first. Crunch is down a few players right now. They have 16 players available, and Bruce Miller at times has had up to 20, so that's why he's going a little deep with the bench tonight. Knowles had space initially, but took the ball too far in, and both Matt Knowles and uh, I'm trying to get the number of the They're both out. other guy. Both are going to go for two minutes, probably unsportsmanlike conduct. I think that's David Moxham. Matt had a two-minute penalty last night in Kansas City also. Uh, he's no stranger to the penalty box. Yeah, it was David Moxham. This is just behind the play. The two uh, taking a few shots at one another. They thought out of the view of Julio Salas. You know, the ex-teammates have gotten on each other a little bit tonight. Matt Knowles getting into it there a little bit earlier. Henry Gutierrez and Todd Gasaski having a little First incident. On one is on number two, David Moxham for kicking. He'll serve two minutes. And kicking at Moxham. Number 34, Matt Knowles also for kicking. Both will go for kicking, and it comes at the 122 mark of the third quarter. So each side will have a shootout. Michael King will be first up. For the Milwaukee Wave, he'll go one on one with Otto Orff. Kinger is one of one on shootouts this season. 
He's got eight one-point goals. He'll blast it on by with the side foot. It beat Otto Lowe to his left. That's worth one point. Makes it a 10-5 crunch lead. So now Zorn Karich will come down on the other side and go one-on-one. -on -one. Here's a look at the goal. Otto got a little bit of a glove on it, too. Just not enough to keep the ball out of the net. Boy, Kinger just slid it between the arm and the leg of Orr. Zorn Karich is two of four on shootouts this season. This is a great matchup. Zoran Karic against Victor Nagara. One touch, Nagara cut it down. The rebound is sent wide. So in that particular exchange, the Wave come out one point ahead, but they trail, still trail by five on the score sheet. Here's another look at it. Watch Zoran. Nagara right there for the stop, and then Zoran winds up again and just sends it a little too far right. If you got to look at uh, the face of Victor Nagara while Zorn was winding up on that second ah. ball. There's, a, <laughs> there's a blast from Karras. The rebound, he sends it wide again. Each team will play four aside for the next two minutes as Moxham and Knowles sit. Scott Schweitzer. It's actually a steal for the crunch. Is working out with Henry Gutierrez in France when Gutierrez finally decided to come on over and play indoor. Schweitzer came for the ride, and what do you know? Starting defender. And still looking more like Jim Carrey in the cable guy <laughs> than Jim Carrey. Well, I'm going to have to see that movie you because know, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. You, you flew out of Cincinnati from our last game. I was on the bus with the guys, and we watched the cable oh, guy. Oh, is that what happened? And the goal from Carrich! It got deflected on the way in. That could be worth three points, depending on who it touched on its flight. The screen set. It hit Nagara. That's a three-point goal, I do believe. Karich had a three-pointer last night against Kansas City. Great job by John Ball there. Just creating traffic in front of Victor Nagara. Well, they haven't put it up on the scoreboard yet, and there's a little talk about whether this should be two or three. Well, it's even strength. There's a bunch of guys having fun. Glad they are. Wonder if they had enough to spell crunch to start or they had to go out to recruit. <laughs> we need an H. We need an H. <laughs> <laughs> Zoran's not happy. That means it's a two-point goal. Captain Andy Schmetzer trying to keep Zorin away. He wants him in the game today. And Andy hasn't seen any playing time since early on no. due to that groin injury. Tim Tima is getting a lot of shifts. The discussion still going on down there. Carriage will not win this battle, it appears. That is definitely beyond the three-point arc. It's an even strength goal. If I am if I am on top of the rules, that should be worth three points. Well, you feel the same way that the members of the crunch feel right now, so my guess is you're on top of the rules. Congratulations for that, Thank too, you. by the way. Is there any money associated with that? No. Uh, a lot of good it does me. Now, Zorin is actually somewhat restrained in this particular exchange. They put two up on the board. Oh, they gave the goal to John Ball. That's what happened. So Zorn so loses the goal. Somehow John touched that? Yes. Well, we've, That's the we've only seen way. We played three times. I didn't see John Ball touching nope. the ball at all. Say that three times fast. In the. Tis Tima got hit with a misconduct there. Marinero blasted it and got blocked by Nagara. And the defense of the officials, that happened mighty quickly. Obstruction called against Michael King. Zoran Karic now with uh, three assists this evening. And John Ball will get the phantom goal. 
still a minute to go on the penalties to Knowles and Moxham. Michael King tried to walk around Gutierrez. Henry quick enough to collect. Not a warp with the ball. For Schweitzer. Carriage in the corner. Defended by Ricky Mobley. Double team helped by Morris. Mobley shaking his head. Carriage in a, a bit of pain. Or so he's making it seem. <laughs> and doing a darn good job of it. Whereas anytime Zorin falls, he's. Aaron Arrow hit it on the screws and almost took the head off of a young Crunch fan in the seat. Now, Zorin's been at this a while. He's had some leg problems, and anytime he goes down, you run the risk of something going wrong with those legs because he takes he takes very good care of his legs and it's been a problem for him. Especially you're playing back to back in a, in a travel in from Kansas City. Not the rest you would normally get. Zorn's also got a nice black and blue mark on the bridge of his nose. He got elbowed there last night. Foul called against Todd Dasaski and the 20 year old from Anoka is not pleased. I think he's still in shock that he's wearing yeah. a blue uniform tonight. Todd had 61 points in his rookie season last year, part of the all-rookie team. As a matter of fact, he, he finished in the top five of rookie of the year voting. We haven't seen him against his twin brother tonight either. No. Troy has not played so far. He hasn't season. seen a shift. Oh, I haven't seen Tanner and we haven't seen Schmetzer in a while, both of those guys uh, with injuries. There's a blast from Steve Morris. Out of it well. Real nice job by Otto. Made the block, got up off the ground, made the catch. Takes Milwaukee out of a good situation. Gutierrez. He has a goal tonight. Starts with a seven-point lead. This is their biggest lead of the night. Gutierrez had no idea that Carriage was slipping in behind and Soren with the face of disapproval. Well, this is a tough night for Milwaukee, remember. Three new players on the team. First time they've ever been on the floor together for a practice, for a game, for anything. And it's been an adjustment for them, and it will be for some time. But tonight, I mean, this is the first time out for these guys, and it's uh, it's been rough. Milwaukee has to play an afternoon game tomorrow in Buffalo as they continue on this. This is a tough stretch for them. Told you, eight games in 10 on the road. Good move from David Moxham. Moxham also played on the U.S. Indoor. There's a pass to Morris across the face of the goal. Oh, and it got knocked aside by John Ball, but I think he did it with his hand. That will be an intentional handball. And a penalty kick for Milwaukee. Did you see Todd Dasaski on that? Right after the handball, he got up and threw the ball. At nobody in particular, but it kind of went toward uh, Otto Wharf, toward everybody. Let's take a look at this thing. The scramble in front. Vignovich is blocking. I don't know if the whistle had blown yet. It looked right like, there. Yeah, it looked like John did tip the ball a little bit, but Todd was not happy. It has not been a fun return for him to Cleveland. So a two-minute penalty to John Ball, but this is going to be a PK for Milwaukee. Michael King will take it. This is worth two points. For some reason, Hector Marinero is standing <laughs> in front of the ball, trying to buy a call from the official. You, you try what you can. <laughs> There's no five-second time limit here, limit here. This is just a blast to our goal. Michael King with a powerful right foot. He scores a two-pointer for Michael King. Off the PK, John Ball will come out of the penalty box. For King, his second goal of the game, he's got four points. It'll come at the 444 mark. Not much to describe on that one. Auto went right. King took it the other way. Goalkeeper's got to pick a side and go. So the only person left in the penalty box now is the assistant coach, Tim Timo, who went off for a misconduct after the point was taken away on what should have been a three-point goal for Zoran Carriage. King holds off Knowles and Schweitzer momentarily. Crunch of the ball. Great pass. Knowles right side across. Kia got caught in traffic and Moxon did a great job of shutting down space. 
But once again, Matt knows deep in the attack third. And that's an adjustment for the other members of the crunch. They're not used to having the defender that far into the attack zone. So it makes it a little bit of a scramble if Milwaukee happens to get the ball and get out in a hurry. Marinero has 75 points now, two assists tonight. And give him three assists. So give him 76 points. He ranks number three on the league scoring chart behind Carriage and Dennis Bros of Detroit. Nikki Vinkovic right on Hector Stell. Tipped in from Michael King, who came flashing across the front of the goal. A two-pointer for King. He's got a hat trick. Including the shootout goal, he now has four on the night. Four for King. And he's putting a dent in former teammates. Watch this. This was smooth all the way around. Just kind of kind of punched it in there with his right foot. Oliverio gets the assist. King's fourth goal of the night. It's a three-point game as the wave creep back in. Does anyone here think there'll be a cure for AIDS? Definitely. How do you know? I don't know, but you have to believe. Some people don't believe AIDS is a problem that affects everyone. And that's the biggest danger. People should realize AIDS is a threat to everyone. I think it's just a matter of time before this was brought under control. Some of us don't have the time. It's a big, wide world. And America is quickly discovering there's room for more than one voice in music television. Open your eyes to Much Music, an alternative concept in music television. 24 hours a day, Much Music is all about music. Open your eyes to a more diverse and adventurous playlist coming to you from the out-of-control rooms of Much Music. Get in on the best-kept secret in music television, Much Music. Call your local cable operator and ask for Much Music today. A seven-point crunch lead has deteriorated into a three-point lead, and Michael King has a lot to do with that as he scored four goals tonight, and two of them in very quick succession. He's had a great third quarter. He had a shootout goal. He had the start on the PK, and then he just had the goal right there. Three goals in the third. Harris ripped the right foot. He tried to volley the left foot on the rebound, and that, my friend, was a tough one to handle for anybody. Except that guy. He did a great job. They got some players behind that goal. You know, Otto ever needs a little bit of relief. That's in the uh, Fila section. Orf went high. Got both fists on it. I haven't seen Carbonara on a shift in us some time, but once again, we told you, he hasn't played in 10 days. I'm sure he's sucking wind every now and again. And Keith Tozer just giving Cabanera a chance to breathe a bit. Here's Nisoski with space coming forward. Schweitzer will be called as he fouled him from behind. Todd a little slow there and pulling the trigger because he did have time and space to let that shot fly. He's, Todd's had a rough night against his old teammates. Michael Richardson and Steve Morris, potential trigger men. Once again, the crunch with Giants in that wall, Benito and Kia. Morris, Oliverio is shot blocked by Knowles and the race to the ball. Michael Richardson will win it. That got tripped by Marinero. Hector helps him up the floor. Now in the recent NPSL draft, in the third round or the second round, the crunch took a guy named Sean Boney out of Southern Connecticut State. He is six foot seven, 260 pounds. I, I can't even imagine I can't even. a soccer player that huge. A big soccer player is six foot tall. I mean, he's considered yeah, huge. Exactly. And this guy is 6'7", 260. Well, the closest guy I can think of it, it, height-wise in the league is Steve Kuntz from St. Louis. He goes about 6'5", but he only weighs about 190. Wow, that's a big boy. Well, there's a, there's a, a decent chance that he might be here this year. So we'll get a look. And it will look like a men among boys out there. And the the other funny part of that story, there's going to be a blue card penalty against Milwaukee. Cabanera doesn't like it, but the Crunch is going to get a shootout and a penalty as Thomas Lauer drew the card. And you, when you have a hold of the number four, 
And then you hit the guy from the front. They, they kind of uh, set Matt Knowles up on that one pretty well. Kim Runfed drafting for the Wichita Wings oh, after great. that. Who did he select? Orlando Pace <laughs> from Ohio State. But then quickly waved it off. But, you know, you, when you do something like that, you never know. They might have made him keep him. Matt Knowles will take the shootout. So he got it, has a chance here to finish off a hat trick. This will be worth a point. Darting off the line was Nagara. Turn of a round and scored. That was slick. Victor did a couple of pirouettes out there. Matt Knowles with his third goal as a member of the Cleveland Crunch. All coming in his home debut. Take a look at this. Victor spins. He thought it was coming once. Spins again. Kicks his leg out. And Matt Knowles just, there, there was nothing there. He couldn't miss that one. That was a tremendous effort from Matt Knowles. And that's a defender, everybody. Remember that. And a veteran goalkeeper of the year that he had in the twister. Just getting smoked. So the Crunch get a point back. Knowles scores. He has a hat trick. Crunch by four. And they're on the power play. But here comes David, uh, Michael Richardson. Michael has a brother named David who played for the Chicago Power and the Chicago Stingers in the U.S. ISL. They look nothing alike, <laughs> even though I tried to excuse my way out of that one. Uh, I, I bought it. <laughs> well, we'll hop over the glass and give the crunch a free kick in front of Milwaukee's bench. That was, that was some great ball work oh. on Matt Knowles' part. Veteran official Thomas Lauer. He's been in this game a long time. But he still hustles up and down that floor. Matt Knowles will put it in play. We're about midway through the third quarter. And the crunch ahead by four. It's been a lively third quarter at that. So the game, for the most part, has been that way. There's a three-point attempt that got blocked, although the crunch on the power play, that would be worth only a point. It was from behind the three-point line. Well, Richardson, 30 points coming into the game. 28-year-old, born in Birmingham, England. Went to Lake Park High School in suburban Chicago. Actually only played a year of college soccer at Illinois State before signing as a 19-year-old with the Chicago State. Who, uh, like a lot of soccer teams, are no longer in existence. <laughs> a relic. But, but a good memory for you, guys. Matt Knowles, the point man on the power play. Carriage and Marinero, the wingers. With Vignovich in the penalty box, and Gutierrez, Roman in the corner. Karen stands him up with a fake, continues to his right, left it for Marinero. Knowles back for Hector. Got it to Karen. He tipped it wide after his own rebound, but Steve Morris stepped in. The long release, not it down from Knowles. It's a lot of responsibility on a new guy running the power play. He was also a sixth attacker last night against Kansas City. Marinero drills the right foot, slapped down, and Pat White is out of the penalty box. Well, they brought Matt Knowles in, expecting him to play right away. There was, there's no hesitation. Pat White across the face of the goal. Otto read it, snagged it, and contribute right away. He's done that. Foul call against Pat White. Gutierrez has spent a lot of time down on the green today. Henry was a three-time All-American and two-time All-ACC player at North Carolina State. Actually drafted in 1992 by the Crunch. Crunch made another North Carolina State guy, their number one pick this year, Carson White, midfielder, taken with the 10th pick in the first round. Can't and have enough of those North Carolina State guys, can you? Ed? Oh my gosh, they're gonna give Tim Team a two-minute penalty for this handball. You know, Tim has one of the greatest faces of all time yeah, when, he, yeah. when he's upset with an official. Yep. There it is. 
I really don't know about that call from Julio Salas, but the call is made. Oh, that bounced. That was off his arm. Well, there was a slight movement with the right arm up, but according to the officials, they were taking away an advantage there. So Michael King will go one on one again with out of war. If this is worth a point. King has a shootout goal, a penalty kick goal, and a pair from the normal run of play. So he's looking for his fifth goal tonight. There's the whistle. Here comes King, and Otto shut it down. Otto goes through his little routine, touching both of both the bars. There it is. Goes just straight ahead. Auto read it right the whole way and it just worked out perfectly. Combination of more closing down the space and the heavy touch from Michael King. There's a look at the Crunch penalty killing unit. Fifth out of 15 teams in the league. King, great ball movement. Oliverio took some time with it. Morris had a bad touch. Richardson poked in, ran into a side tackle from Marinero. King. Couldn't get a foot on the ball first time. Now we'll slow it and move back. Thinking about a give and go. Now they play back for Richardson. Minute 24 on the penalty. Carbonara ran into a teammate. There's a little of that newness showing itself. King pulling his way through. Knowles went up and got a forehead on it. Oh, give Michael Richardson some credit there because he saw that train named John Ball coming his way. Quick restart, Oliverio! Oh, he's whistled it wide as it flashed across the front of the goal. Richardson and Carbonara play a little catch. Under a minute on the penalty, as you see in your upper corner. Morris hit it hard. The rebound from Carbonara got blocked. Michael Richardson got a little too cute with the ball there and a foul called against Richardson as he took down Schweitzer. Scott, he's out of there in a hurry. It looks like he took a shot to the mouth on that one. Uh, it, the injury that has kept him out of the lineup for the most part has been a toe injury, turf toe, but they think now he might have some troubles with the bottom of his foot. Not enough to keep him out of there right now, but it is something that Scott has complained about bothering him a little bit when he's out on the floor. Michael Richardson can't believe a foul is called, and I think Zorin did a lot to act that one up, but he drew the foul and got the crunchy restart, keeping the attack end. Big bench kicked out by Nagara, the quick right foot. As Milwaukee comes back, still in power play soccer, carriage. Got a piece of care of Oliverio, and Zorn is going to be called for a penalty. Julio Salas will send Zorn Karich off. It looked like Zorn gave him a little bit of a shot heading down the floor. There's uh, Oliveira with the ball, and here comes Zorn. A little aggressive with the right arm, perhaps. That angle didn't show it very well. But now there's Tim Tima with Zorin in the penalty box. And Obi Maname going against his former teammate Otto Ward. Comes at 10.49. Zorn was definitely beaten on that play and took an intentional foul there, but the rest pulled the blue. Maname got blocked by Orff up and out. Obi looking for his second goal of the night. And the last two shootout attempts for Milwaukee come up short. Nothing fancy by Obi on that one, and a nice job by Otto just Otto to deflect does, the ball. He does such a great job darting off the line and then setting his feet. See, if he's not set, it'll allow somebody to dribble on by him, but he gets out, shuts down the angle. So actually, the wave will have a two-man advantage for 21 more seconds. Otto goes long to Marinero just off the bench. He went back and just went off. That would have been brilliant to even hit that ball. For the distance it was thrown is amazing. 
three Blake. seconds left on the two-man advantage. Otto sets that up with, with his strong arm and the great throw, but people don't expect a guy to kick it out of the air like Hector just did. Full stride on the full run. Steve Morris. Kingman read the pace. The penalty to Tima is over. So the crunch now one man short, and they will want a timeout. Cleveland calls a timeout with three minutes, 38 seconds to go in the third quarter, and the crunch holding on to a four-point lead over the way. We keep it moving. At BP, we know the best part of life is not spent at a gas station. That's why everything we do, from our world-class fuels to BP credit cards, from pay at the pump to BP Express, we do to keep you moving. We keep you moving. We keep you moving. Follow the crunch. Your independently owned and operated IGA supermarkets are proud to be the official food store of the world champion Cleveland Crunch. IGA supermarkets, a part of hometowns like yours for 70 years, providing more quality selection and savings. Shop your hometown proud IGA. Save on your favorite brands every day and follow the crunch. At IGA, we're hometown proud. Still in a holiday spirit, no doubt. Some excited Crunch fans here at the Convocation Center. Now we've been talking about this Crunch four-game losing streak. Uh, one thing we haven't mentioned is, or, or not directly, is that those four losses have all come on the road. Uh, it's tough to win in the NPSL. It's, it's just something that the Crunch is not used to losing anyway. Well, the games in Cincinnati and Columbus are the games that really got away from it. You don't expect to win in St. Louis or in Kansas City. If you get one of those games, that's a big plus for you. Morris. King let it go, but I don't think Oliverio is expecting it. Smart play by Michael King to dummy it. The pace of that ball skipped up and got Giuliano a bit off stride. He's going to be a good player, Giuliano Oliverio. from New Westminster, British Columbia. Ricky Mobley called for the foul on Hector Marinero. And they both seem to be going after the ball on that one, and Hector just caught the brunt of that. There's the whistle. Hector still trying to shake that one. A blow to the head. Marinero getting Knowles and Vignovich in position. And he shoots it, couldn't curl it around the wall enough. Schweitzer in a race to control it. He nicked in to get a piece of it. Great ball. Here comes King. He scores! Steve Morris gave him a brilliant ball. The Wave score shorthanded. Five goals for Michael King. And we've got a two-point game. That, that was very, very quick on Milwaukee's part. This just develops in a hurry. Michael King gets the ball ahead of everybody. Otto does a nice job, and it goes right through his legs. He came out and cut everything off, cut off the angle a little bit. But Michael King is hot tonight. Goal number five, his fourth goal here in the second half alone. 12.09, the time of the shorthanded goal. And got to give credit to King for the goal because he finished well, but the vision of Steve Morris and the pace of that pass to get it behind the crunch defense. They only put one point up there. They were on the power play, my mistake. I thought it was a shorthanded goal. I was saying it was a power play. Wake up, Ben. Where's the point? And it's a 13-10 game. So Mike King has two one-point goals. And the other three are of the two-point variety. He's really developed his game. I mean, he was a good player when he was here with Cleveland. He's really developed his game into one of the top scorers in the league. Well, he was a great scorer in college at Fairleigh Dickinson University. Set national records while he was there. Always had a great scoring touch. But Mike, is he's a very hard worker. Jim Finn on for his second shift of the night. 
And a lot of times you don't see the, the effort on both sides from a guy who scores a lot of points. Michael had 148 points last year for Milwaukee to lead the team in scoring. That in 35 games. Mike Benito with some work along with the likes of Tim Tima. Crunch get the foul and they restart Q Orr. Gutierrez drills a right foot high off the glass. Carriage had to do some quick work to get that down. Now Gutierrez into a posting carriage. He ran into Ricky Mobley. And Mobley won the ball. Nagara for Pop. Milwaukee has done well to climb back in this contest. They were on the verge of letting this one get away. They were down by seven points, 12 to five, early in the third. Or off his line, banged it up the boards. Richardson stopped it from getting out of the attack third. One minute, less than one minute remaining, third quarter. King. On the backside, it's Richardson. He'll play out high. King's left foot. He missed it wide after his own rebound. Turns to face. He got taken down by Gutierrez, and that'll give the wave a free kick out high. King came into the game with 49 points, ranking him number nine on the league's scoring sheet. Carbonera's left foot missed it wide. Gutierrez can't get it on by Morris. Morris was taken down, looking for a call, didn't get it. There comes Carriage for the crunch. 29 seconds left to play, third quarter. Carriage is shot blocked by Cabanera. And it'll give the crunch a free kick. Zorin was the player of the week for the 11th time in his career back in October. It was an 8-4 crunch lead at halftime. They came out and built a 12-5 lead in the third. Topo Fingers off the post. Oh, he had Victor Nagara at his mercy. Did a great job of collecting initially, and he probably had more time than he thought he did. Because when he turned to face, there was nobody there. Schweitzer went for the tackle, but King stayed strongly on the ball. And as Orff loves it, the horn sounds. Pretty nutty third quarter comes to a close. With a crunch ahead by three. Fourth quarter's on the way. You waited and waited before you finally bought a new car. Four very long years for your first house. And that promotion seemed to take a lifetime. Now here's something you don't ever have to wait for. News Sport, the 24-hour, seven-day-a-week sports news channel. No waiting necessary. That was then. This is now. The Mac Now. The Mac Now is a weekly show that highlights the teams, players, and coaches in the Mid-American Conference, both on and off the field. From Eastern to Western, Miami to Kent, the Mac Now provides your weekly fix of Mid-American Conference action. The Mac Now is available on most of these stations. So come on, get with the program. Check out the Mac Now. Grab your seat on board this season's wild ride to radical snowboard action. The top talent from around the world will bring you down the mountain and across the globe to the finest conditions you can ever dream of. You'll be turned around and blown away by Steve Alaska, radical New Zealand, and Fiji barrels. And that's just a taste of where you'll die with Board Wild. 
one week only. Now through December 31st, inventories must be reduced at Courtesy Auto World in Ravenna. 97 Caravans and Voyagers, $219 a month with no money down. 97 Ram SLT Pickups, $219 a month with no money down. Or 96 Stratus, $199 a month with no money down. Hurry in and save big. Every new and used vehicle on sale now at Courtesy Auto World. Route 59 and 14 in Ravenna. Always drive with Courtesy. TNN Motorsports. Make the right, make the right move. Follow the leader. TNN Motorsports. It's really very simple. You're watching the best motorsports coverage in the world. TNN Motorsports. TNN Motorsports. Keep your eye on the leader. It doesn't get any closer. This message brought to you locally by Waco Truck and Off-Road Center. We're back. The Crunch leads by three. Close right here. Well, Nicky Vignovich had a great chance, and he just basically missed it. Left side of the goal was wide open. Nagara wasn't in position, and it would have been a good opportunity for Nicky. Here are the way the new guys are doing tonight. Glenn Carbonera has a shot, but the uh, guy to watch, Obi Maname, has a goal tonight. Todd Dasoski has been beat up tonight. <laughs> Matt Knowles, three goals for the Crunch tonight in his home debut. Hey, congratulations, Ed. A little soccer ball is thrown out in the quarter break. Ed caught one, thrown by Hector Marinero, then graciously gave it to a fan. What a game. You know, I'm going to have to talk to Hector. That was, he, he actually strung me up over the middle of the field there. I, yeah, he did. I had to, he had to reach. reach. I exposed myself. The linebacker could have taken me out big. I thought about it. There's Vignovich. Had a hat trick last night. He's actually had some pretty big games on Sports Channel. And we appreciate that, by the way. Open the season against Toronto. There's a move by Carbonera. Dusaski back to Carbonera. He just missed a post near side. Good work by the former crunch players there to get a chance to go. It was a quick little kick on Matt Knowles' part to get that to Otto. That was a little risky. A couple of wave guys right there. Official sports is the innovator in soccer for you, women and uniforms. Now we get PSL. Official sports has introduced David Stanley. Otto Orp on the ball. Sending along birthday wishes to his wife, Marty. You're off the hook, Ed. Good job. Happy birthday, Marty. 29 years old, I hear. Yeah. Sorry, Marty. <laughs> well, Oliverio around to Mark Schweitzer trying to get back into play. Out of way off of his line. Made the play and has called for a handball. Salas has been quick with the blue card, and Otto better watch it. He's going to get more than just two minutes. And I think Otto's got a case there. I don't think he hit it with his hand. Well, he's really fighting it, so you, you have to think that's the case. Let's take a look at this. Otto comes out, and it looked like he caught it right in the middle of his BP. But Rob Marinero coming off the bench. Here's another look. No, it hit him right off the chest. So another penalty will have to be served by the crunch. Marinero will come off the bench and after a few words to... Julio Salas for that call. Steve Morris will try his hand at the shootout. Marinero with a few words for either Morris. Oh. One time he scores, Steve Morris. Off the blast. His first shootout attempt and his first shootout goal, obviously. Here's one more look at Otto coming out there. That obviously hits right off the middle of his chest. And here's the shootout goal against Rob Marinero. Tough situation for Rob. Off the bench, cold, hasn't played all game, and he has to face a shootout. But it's now a 13 to 11 game with 13.44 left to go. Oh, Oliveira did well to stick his face in that particular confrontation. You know, you wish the man's wife a happy birthday, and he goes for the penalty box, Ed. What's that tell you? I don't know. That was through no fault of his own. Michael Richardson called for instruction, or over and back, one of the two. Hector on the score sheet with assists this evening, has not found a way to light the lamp. Matt Knowles almost took Salas' hand off. Carriage, the right foot, tipped out. 
by Nagara. Marinero back on a bouncing ball and a handball called against Julio Salas, or against Glenn Cavanera. Well, we're seeing an example tonight of, of what's gone wrong lately. The Crunch has not been able to put games away in the second half, and that's what they did so well all of last year. They did have a seven-point lead. It was 12 to five since then. It's been a six to one Milwaukee run. There, it just will blast it off of King and Carbonara. That didn't hurt. Not at all. From up here, it didn't. No. Over and back against the crunch. Zorn kind of got a little more on that ball than he wanted to, needless to say. And Milwaukee with 125 on the power play. Richardson walked around to Mark, ran into Schweitzer. Poked out by Marinero. Ball did well to get his body inside that. And a great pass from Knowles. Brings down Ball. It's a two-on-one. Here comes John Ball. He didn't get much on the shot. Michael Richardson was busting tail to get back in that play. And hassle John Ball just a bit. Michael King pulling his way toward goal. Played it off the backboard. It got kicked out by Marinero. And that'll give the wave a free kick at the top of the D. Rob Marinero in goal for at least a, a few more seconds. Auto war from the penalty box. Rob coming in cold off the bench to face a shootout. Gave up a goal. And now he's just trying to hang in there. 13 to 11. Richardson King missed the tap and at the post. Great pass from Michael Richardson. He had to hit it as hard as he did and he couldn't catch up to it. The block from Schweitzer. Two white shirts around it. Marinero twisted out of that neatly. Here he comes up the floor right side. Morris over to Mark. Put it to his legs on his way to go. And Nagara swept it off of his feet. Counterattack for Milwaukee. They've got numbers. Four on two if they hurry. Oliverio, Carbonero, Come back left to right. This game's picking up the pace. Matty Knowles at the yellow line. Here he comes. Slide tackle from Cavanaugh, and he's called for the foul. Cavanaugh can't believe he's called for the foul. Knowles can't believe he's there's not a penalty on this play. Knowles is out front. Glenn comes back, basically tackles him, then trips him. Neither man is happy. Carrot on the restart. Tried to poke it through the legs of Nagara, but Victor closed up shot. Vignovich slapped down by Nagara. Vignovich is so quick on the release of his shot. Played ahead, Morris. Three on one against the crunch. Morris and Vignovich came up with the big play. Nice job by Nicola. Crunch is getting caught in numbers down few times here and they got to watch it. Michael King will restart. Only two seconds on the penalty. Left to Orr. Remember, Otto's got to wait for a guaranteed substitution to make a change. The foul called against Michael King. Carriage in the corner. He had trouble with the ball, skipping off his foot on the bounce. Pat White tried the long wall pass, and that ball ended up off of trainer Manny Canamos' hand. Here comes Otto, out goes Rob Marinero. Rob did a nice job. It's a tough tour of duty when you're sitting there opening and closing the door all game, and you got to face a shootout, and then numbers down. Gutierrez, Finn on a bouncing ball, miss hit that. Hector with a couple of claps of encouragement. Attention all 96, 97, Remco Crunch Kid members. Your post-game autograph session will begin approximately 15 minutes after tonight's game. Entrance to the Remco Restart comes from David Moxham, it gets blocked by Finn, and he'll come out of his own end. The hesitation, and then back to Gutierrez, the give and go. Finn will hustle to catch up to it. Over to Mark is Pat White, double team help from Richardson. Gutierrez, Marinero off the jump, by the catch! Oh, you saw his eyes get big and wide, and you knew it was coming, but Nagaro was right there. 
Victor was just in the perfect position because Hector caught a lot of people by surprise with that one. Victor was, was not one of them. Maxim got clipped. Richardson for Pop. Oh. Jeff Pop with not a wise decision. Over and back. And finally, after Marinero told the officials, hey, guys, good call, Hector. Back. Good call. High scoring forward referee. <laughs> I think most forwards, actually most soccer players can have that slash yes, next to yes. their name. Marinero for Carriage. He tried to one-time it for Knowles. Got busted up. Schweitzer will have to play back for Orr. The Crunch has never lost five straight games. In the middle of a four-game losing streak right now, so they uh, they need this one tonight. They're up by two with ten minutes left to go. Crunch is five and one at home. Their lone loss in a blowout. to Jeff Pop. Marinero is trying to get it inside the penalty area. We'll see whether or not that occurs. I think it was close enough to the edge of the box that the referees will probably allow it outside. Let's see exactly where this did happen. And right, it was very close. Very close. That could happen outside and kind of moved inside. They're going to give a PK. So it's ruled inside the box. Jeff Pop called for the penalty. The Crunch will get a PK here. We're seeing two in one game, one from Milwaukee. He goes off for tripping at 5.49. Soren Karic will have a penalty kick. Soren's still looking for his first goal of the night. Worth two points. taps it on. Victor just got out of the way. Carriage a two-pointer. He's got five points tonight. And the Crunch now with a four-point lead. Nothing fancy on that. Victor Nagara kind of took a hunch. I had a few words yeah. for Victor as well. And there are our favorite fans there here. There are the guys. You know, it is indoors. Let's just yes, let's just say that. It's, it's not like they're you know, defying the laws of nature. Michael Richardson. And you know the girls find that so attractive. Oh, too. they love that stuff. <laughs> Michael Richardson. For Todd Dostoevsky, it got poked off by John Ball. Kia can't catch up to it. It's in the corner for Richardson. Double team help from Kia. Richardson hangs on. Kia poked it, knocked it aside. Oliverio off the board. Sasaki just a bit late getting there. And Richardson tries to control a bouncing ball. Kia went high, took it off his face. And that's over and back against Milwaukee. What am I talking about? They played it forward. They're going to call it. I think it was an inadvertent whistle is what happened in here. We're going to have a drop ball. And the crunch win possession. Kia on his way to goal. He's closing in on a milestone for goals. 
He trips up Todd Dasaski. Not really a smart foul to take there, deep in the attack third. Richardson coming forward. Ball meets him just outside the yellow line. Gutierrez took it off of his foot. 8-10 to go in the game. The crunch of the four-point lead. They have led by as many as seven. Steve Morris from Michael King. Ball stepped in. Wanted to Orff. He'll throw it off balance to Gutierrez. Two on two. Zorn checks two. Got the ball from Gutierrez. And plays for Orff. Otto has two goals and two assists this season. We saw one goal where he threw it in in Columbus, the length of the floor, beating Chuck Martini, the Invaders goalkeeper. Nice move by Vinovich, but Benito wasn't expecting it. Now a crowd along the boards, and it came away. Mike Benito with a goal tonight. He tried to dart into space, pop, got a heel on it. Here's Pat White against John Ball. White pushed in the corner and play on. Or pumps it, pop high, it'll stay in play. Schweitzer coming forward. King backtracking. The first of speed from Schweitzer. He got it out high, and Mike Benito took a long route. Steve Morris came away. David Maxim. Played some time in second division in Poland with Krakowia. Michael King against his former teammate. Knowles got a piece of it. That one eluded out of warp, and Knowles was able to get it out of trouble. Great play here. Creates a two on one. Just got a piece of it. Matt Knowles and Zoran Karic against Cabanera. Ball and they score! Matt Knowles is having a great home debut for the Crunch. Made a great play on defense, came out, starts a two-on-one break, and makes just the perfect pass to Zoran Karic for the goal. Makes it 17-11 to Crunch with 6.05 left here in the fourth quarter. Just a great ball. Six. One week only. Now through December 31st. Inventories must be reduced at Courtesy Auto World in Ravenna. 97 Caravans and Voyagers, $219 a month with no money down. 97 Ram SLT Pickups, $219 a month with no money down. Or 96 Stratus, $199 a month with no money down. Hurry in and save big. Every new and used vehicle on sale now at Courtesy Auto World. Route 59 and 14 in Ravenna. Always drive with Courtesy. Once in a blue moon, you find a better movie channel. Excuse me. Stars gives you more choice than ever. Order Stars now and get more exclusive first-run theatrical movies in prime time than any other movie channel. Yes. Uncut and commercial free. Very good. And quality features for the whole family. Good idea. So chances are when you want to watch a good movie, there'll be a good movie on to watch on Stars, a better movie channel. Matt Knowles has him dancing here at the Convocation Center, a home debut that has him uh, depositing three goals home and a, a brilliant assist. Well, Glenn Carbonera had to commit himself to Knowles, and the minute Glenn did that, he made the pass to Carriage, and you see Zorn's little smile there. He is quite pleased with his new teammate. Sixth attacker soccer for Milwaukee as they go to the sixth attacker with over five minutes, just under yeah, six. Yeah, that's, that's a, a little early, don't you think, Ed? Well, not, they're, they're mean, down by six. Keith Tozer has been known to do this, and actually most coaches, a lot of coaches are starting to go to sixth attacker earlier, and they really have nothing to lose. And the crunch has the momentum here. Michael Richardson is very quick, fast player that is not too shabby of a goalkeeper on top of it. Richardson making his fourth appearance as a sixth attacker, and his points against is 66.91. <laughs> <laughs> He's played a total of just over four minutes. He won't be sending out any resumes with that no, number on. No. The steal by Tima Perkia. Oh. Over the bar here 
back comes Gutierrez. He couldn't get that shot down. Oh, Kia wanted that one. That would have been a three-pointer. He thought he had it, too. Good play from Tima out of the back line to spot Kia. You know, Milwaukee's done a pretty decent job tonight, Ed, with, with the new guys on the team. I mean, they haven't played together. They're out there for the first time in any type of a, of a soccer situation with their new teammates, and they've done a decent job. I'm sure if they're Milwaukee, they're... You're, at, you're look, looking to snap that two-game losing streak, but you got two games on the road here. You're trying to get a win in, in one of the two. And they're forced to go and play an afternoon contest in Buffalo tomorrow. Well, that smile has disappeared for the face of our horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Crunch's biggest lead tonight was seven points. It's now a six-point lead with 4.47 left to play. When it was a little concerning there for a little while. Milwaukee got right back in it, but Crunch is taking, taking control of the game, which is what they haven't done during this losing streak. Another thing that I, I really feel that Crunch needs to do is get the air of invincibility back, not only amongst themselves, but when other teams come in to play them. I, I don't think that is there anymore. Other teams don't come in really fearing the Crunch like they used to. Well, you look at the record, and there's no reason to. You know, Detroit won here. Milwaukee's given them a good game, and then they lost at Cincinnati and at Columbus, and the rest of the teams in the league are going to see that and say, hey, these guys can be beat. Now, all you got to do if you're the crunch, and I say that like it's so easy to do, is come out and just destroy a few teams in a row. Yeah, that would do it. And you got the other teams thinking again. David Maxim, pressure from Gutierrez. This is it. We're seeing a little bit of a, a style change too for the crunch where they're, they're starting to apply pressure a little further up the field now as as opposed to dropping back and, and defending. Well, Bruce Miller talked about that before the game with us and a, a big part of that is Matt Knowles. He thinks Matt has the speed, Scott Schweitzer in there has the speed to really make things happen on the defensive end before a team really gets anything going offensively, take them right out of it. Milwaukee will have the free kick top of the D. They're down six. Here's a three-point try. It got blocked by Vignovic. The head ball by White. Just skidded it off of his head. He got the rebound and sent it wide as it skirts across the front of the goal. Steve Morris back in the midfield. Middle, middle, so far, the sixth attacker strategy just kind of there. Hasn't paid off for Milwaukee, but hasn't hurt the wave at all either. Oh, Michael King. I was kind of surprised that that ball came through. Here comes Carbonera. He thinks Wiser going in to try and tackle that away. Long turned it quickly. And they get it back. John Ball. In a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob Paul in the far corner. Carriage will put it in play. The chip, Marinero shot it wide, and Carriage back on it. Vignovich on it. So Crunch play a little catch in the midfield, and they are two minutes and 37 seconds away from snapping this four-game losing streak. Morris now to Oliverio. Here comes Giuliano. Carbonero will play it back. Oh, you're right, Jeff. Milwaukee really hasn't created a lot out of this sixth attacker set. And they're looking a little bit tired. Handball called against Carbonero. I mean, they haven't been very aggressive with the sixth attacker out there at all, and that's surprising because that's the whole purpose of the maneuver. There's a good look at Michael Richardson. Look out, he's got to defend, and he kicks it aside as Carriage spanked it hard. Richardson pushes ball away. 
and the crunch will make the wave chase. The fact that Cleveland's been able to possess two here a bit takes a lot out of Milwaukee. Big play by Jeff Cobb. Carrick bangs it off the post. Richardson was completely out of position there, too. If Henry could have got a, a good look at it, he'd have had an open net. Jeff Cobb did well to get back into play. Morris leaves it for King right side. He shoots it off the board. Slapped aside by Orr. And here comes Matt Knowles looking for a little icing. Knowles on his way to go. Jeff Pop once again with a big tackle helping out his teammate Michael Richardson. Oliverio lost the ball. Steve Morris had to do a juggling act to keep possession. Now for Todd Dasoski, rifles one to our goal. Otto made the stop and it's a good thing because Jason Rienzi was at the far post all by himself. Ball loops it in. It's going to go up and over, and the uh, Wave will have the ball in front of their own bench. But I think it's safe to say that the four-game losing streak is history, as Milwaukee's losing streak will extend to three. And it's a good thing it ends right now because this is a very tough stretch for the Crunch. Six games in 10 days. On Tuesday, New Year's Eve in Cincinnati, Thursday in Edmonton, and then Saturday in Philadelphia, then back home on Sunday. Right here against Baltimore, a game that we will have for you on Sports Channel. But that's five games coming up this week, including tonight. Five games in eight days, six games in ten days, however you want to look at it. Matt Knowles goes long and just missed it wide. Special delivery from Matt Knowles. Just wide of that address. Morris chips. White has to back trap. He'll play it off the glass. Oliverio in front. He can't turn it toward goal. Monaway had one take it. Morris with a rifle. It gets knocked aside. There's the horn and the crunch with a 17-11 win over the Milwaukee Wave. Thanks to the spectacular debut of number 34, Matt Knowles. Three goals and the assist of the game. I know a lot of folks thought the crunch gave up an awful lot, but the fans here tonight saw why they did just that. We'll be back to recap after a timeout. Matt Knowles helps the crunch to a six-point win. We keep it moving. At BP, our high-octane Super 93 is formulated with our highest level of engine cleaning power. Super 93 delivers everything you demand in a premium gasoline, so you can concentrate on more important things. We keep you moving. We keep you moving. We keep you moving. We keep you moving. to be a pro athlete to need sports medicine and rehab. Sure, a lot of the people you see in the peak at Marymount make their living on the playing field, but a lot of them don't. They're firemen and architects and moms too, and they all have the same thing in common. They need to get back on the job. For professional sports medicine and rehab, call the peak at 663-0080 and get back into action. Sports Medicine Center of the Cleveland Crunch and Lumberjacks. Famous first in Bengals history. In 1967, Coach Paul Brown is awarded an expansion team, the Bengals. In 1968, Paul Robinson reaches 1,000 yards as the first Bengals cheer him on. In 1982, it's historic Freezer Bowl. The Bengals win takes the team to the Super Bowl for the very first time. In the year 2000, Cincinnati's first fan could be you. Own your piece of the jungle. Call 241-2221. That was then. This is now. The Mac Now. The Mac Now is a weekly show that highlights the teams, players, and coaches in the Mid-American Conference, both on and off the field. From Eastern to Western, Miami to Kent, the Mac Now provides your weekly fix of Mid-American Conference action. The Mac Now is available on most of these stations. So come on, get with the program. Check out the Mac Now.
uniform supplier of the Cleveland Crunch. By MTD, for a growing soccer world. The Illuminating Company, bringing new power to you. By Bryant and Stratton College, the career college of choice in Northeast Ohio. By Arby's, it's better out there. BP, at BP, everything we do is to keep you moving. By the peak at Marymount, go where the pro athletes go. And by your hometown proud IGA supermarket. There's the final score of the Crunch with a 17-11 win, snapping a four-game losing streak to go to 10-6. And our uh, Fila changed the game MVP, none other than number 34. Well, he gives his old goalkeeper a little lesson right there. Matt had Victor Nogueira spinning every which way. Matt Knowles with three goals tonight, the game's most valuable player. And he maybe had the most spectacular play of the night, too. And Matt also figured in our BP big play of the game. Well, he's a great defender who's offensive-minded. He makes the play right there in the goal, helps Otto out, kicks the ball loose, and then chases after it. And unlike a lot of defenders, takes the ball into goal on his own. A lot of guys will pass off early. Matt Knowles takes it in. Glenn Carbonera has to commit on the play. He does, and Zoran Karic is right there with the absolute perfect pass from Matt Knowles. Perfect pass. Hits it on the head. That was perfectly weighted, perfectly passed. And Matt Knowles is our feel it change the game MVP and part of the BP big play. We got one more break and we'll return a 17-11 crunch victory over the way. Our We've always put power in your outlets. Now the Illuminating Company is going to put more power in your hands. The power to solve problems. The power to save. When our merger is approved, we plan to cut residential base rates by over 20%. And we'll begin by cutting your bill $3 a month shortly after approval. Stay tuned. The future is a powerful place. In the new business world, change is not to be feared. It's to be expected. Forget about job security. Now you have to deal with downsizing, evolving technology. How do you get ready? Critical workplace skills to keep you employable for life. The real work experience employers expect before you graduate. Advanced technology and dynamic instructors to empower you. Where do you get it? Bryant and Stratton. What are you doing on the boards? Throw elbow. The guy's on a fast break. Trip him. Like I looks at you. Refer to his mother. What's this? Arr! He's got it. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more. No more. Wait. This isn't me. I gotta play with decency. Honesty. I gotta play clean. Nice shot. But here we go. The Crunch have won the game! The Crunch have won the game! The Crunch have hit me a tough champion! The Crunch have Final score once again from the Convocation Center, 17-11 crunch win. The next game on Sports Channel, January 5th, when they host the Baltimore Spirit. 3 p.m. is kickoff. Coming up next is the Rock and Roll Shootout live from Gund Arena, University of Cincinnati against Western Kentucky. For Jeff Phelps, I'm Ed Vesidic saying so long from CSU. See you next year.